Every day, if these gorillas make a struggle to, to survive in their habitat against the enemy of extinction. Hi, my name is Jerry Thompson, and today I would like to talk to, to discuss the endangered gorillas in the African rainforest. The mountain gorilla is an essential part of the rainforest near the Congo. And today, there are under a thousand mountain gorillas left in the these gorillas are on the brink of extinction because of the effects of poaching, deforestation, and the political instability in the region in which they live in. Efforts must be made to protect the already small population. Now I'd like to talk to you about the factors that affect the gorillas' population. Deforestation. Deforestation is one main cause of why the gorillas are on the brink of extinction. Why the gorillas are on the brink of extinction. Deforestation is damage done to the gorillas' habitat. Humans invade their territory and cut down their land to build homes, buildings, and factories, and cut down the trees for paper and other resources. This affects the gorillas because they are losing their habitat and their homes are being destroyed by humans, which is equivalent to your home being robbed or burned. Now that I have talked about deforestation and how this affects the gorillas severely, I will talk to you about the second factor that affects the gorillas' population, which is poaching. Poaching is an act done by hunters who go to the forest and capture and kill the animals that live there. The poachers used to kill to get a large profit. Stryker, a journalist, says they sell their they sell their kills for money to live. They also sell their heads and limbs as trophies. Poaching affects the population because when the poachers kill the gorillas, it stops the reproduction of many of species by many. Killing just one gorilla is like killing a, a family. <laughs> Now that I have talked to you about deforestation, poaching, and what effects it has on the gorillas, I will talk to you about the political instability. The political instability in Africa, which plays a significant role in the population of the gorillas. A civil war broke out in Africa. It killed off the gorillas' habitat. Soldiers and refugees passed through the gorillas' habitat. The habitat is being destroyed by the refugee camps near the, near the gorillas' territory. I have... I talked to you about the poaching. Now that I um, Antonio, stop. I have talked to you about the po poaching, deforestation, and the political instability that affects the gorillas every day. And now I will tell you what is being done to help the gorillas. The program called United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization is a project to match the habitat and the habitat of endangered mountain gorillas using satellites to see the, where they are at all times, and they will be able to manage their safety. This will make the anti-poaching efforts more effective, says Yulai Bassage. There are five different national parks where gorillas remain safe and free. People would give money to the parks to help their habitat. There are not any laws in Africa that say that say poaching is illegal. Efforts must be, are being made day by day, and hopefully soon they will be successful. And then I'm gonna do like something else, and I'm gonna say thank you for your time and cooperation. Have a nice day. Peace. <laughs>